Dr. Sovereigns at Countryside Veterinary Clinic, and I'm here to talk to you about treatment of parasites in dogs. I've got two helpers with me today. This is Georgia. She's a four-year-old boxer mix, and she's been coming here since she was a little puppy. And we have Danielle, who's an assistant, and she's going to ask us questions that we get asked a lot here at Countryside. Dr. Sovereigns, if one of my pets has parasites, do all my pets in the home need to receive treatment? It depends on which parasite you're talking about. If it's fleas, for sure, any of the animals, including people, can get fleas on them. If it's ticks, ticks can be spread from cats to dogs to people. If it's heartworms, heartworms are generally um, transmitted um, from dog to dog, and it's always through a mosquito. So one dog can't give another dog uh, heartworms unless, of course, it went through a mosquito first. So um, ringworm can be transmitted across from one to the next. Uh, mites like ear mites can from one pet to the next. So it's important that we figure this out right away so we don't uh, spread it throughout the whole family. Can I get parasites from my dog? Yep, you can get, um, certainly if your dog has fleas, they can carry them in the house and the fleas might bite you as well. Certainly a tick or crawling on a dog, once it comes in, it can crawl on people as well. There are a few instances of people getting heartworms from mosquitoes, from biting a dog that has it to a mosquito to a person. Um, those are the most common things I think you would see. Is there prevention for dog parasites? Absolutely, I'm glad you asked. The most important thing we do is, especially when they're little puppies at eight, 10, 12 weeks of age, that we get them on a preventive so that they don't get roundworms, hookworms, whipworms, tapeworms, giardia, coccidia, see, uh, fleas, ticks. Um, so we can prevent all of those things by making sure that they're negative to start with and then putting them on medications to prevent them from getting those diseases. Are parasitic infections serious or will they go away on their own? No, they're never going to go away on their own. Um, fleas are just going to bite your, their dog. They're going to replicate. They're going to lay eggs. They're going to lay eggs on the dogs and in the environment. Um, and they're definitely going to continue. Um, thank you, Billy. <laughs> thank you. They're definitely going to uh, continue to replicate in your home. Ticks, they may die off, eventually fall off in the environment, but then they're ready to get on another person. So it's, it's, do not rely on the weather or anything else to get rid of them. You're really going to need to get some help. So what are the treatments for dog parasites? So if it's intestinal parasites, there's going to be a medication that we give orally that's going to kill that roundworm or hookworm or whipworm or tapeworm. Most of those have to be repeated in two to three weeks to break the life cycle so that we don't just get it again um, from, the, from the same source. There is heartworm preventive. Heartworm preventive is a, a medication that you take once a month to prevent them from getting heartworms when they get bit by a mosquito. There is treatment for heartworm disease and it's, uh, it's a very, very um, serious medication that we have to use. The dogs feel terrible. It's a whole long protocol that takes several months to do. So you really just wanna prevent it and you don't wanna go down the road of having to treat for heartworm disease, but it is available if you need to. Can I use natural or over-the-counter treatments for my dog? You can, they're probably safe, but we're not sure they're very effective. The medications that we use here, um, predominantly Interceptor, Cordelio, um, Provecto, those are medications that have really had an extreme amount of research and safety studies and um, gone through the process of going through the FDA to make sure that they are effective. So that's the products that I would use. What can I do at home to treat or prevent parasite infestations? If you want to treat intestinal parasites, do things like make sure that you pick up the feces in your dog's yard so that if they did have a parasite that they don't reinfest themselves. Make sure that they don't get into other dogs' feces, um, particularly at a dog park. Um, those will help you out a lot. You want, for as far as fleas and ticks, you want to use your preventives, but you want to keep your dog nicely groomed, check on them a lot, make sure that even when you have your preventives that you look at them um, from time to time and make sure that they don't have any intestinal parasites on them. Uh, one way to avoid ticks is not going in the areas with tall grasses because that's where the ticks are. So you want to really be careful that you just avoid those areas uh, whenever ticks are out, which in Maryland is usually the spring, the summer, the fall, and early winter. So almost all the months of the year in Maryland. And that's it. So I hope that helps answer you some questions. I hope Georgia helped a little bit so that you know how to um, prevent and treat uh, intestinal parasites, heartworm disease, and, and um, external parasites in dogs. Thank you.